right, we made it on the train to Nara. Fancy, look. Her seats are huge. Crazy. <laughs> so cool. He's right there. Look at our cool luggage. She's cute. She's a vibe. She just looks too new. We gotta like dent it. <laughs> Okay, we made it to Nara and we're headed over to the Tadaiji temple and that's kind of where the deer are that just literally go up to you, they bow to you. We've got three cars going there, mom's already over there so we're just meeting up with them. It's so hot, this is crazy. I know I keep saying that the whole trip but it's so hot. Alright guys, we made it to Kyoto. We are in a hotel now. It's kind of a journey to get here, but we are in Kyoto. This hotel is beautiful. It's very like a traditional hotel. The name is kind of crazy, so I will flash it on the screen here. And feeling good. Sweaty, hot, and like I look like a scrub, but welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to my Japan series. Hope you guys have been enjoying all the vlogs lately. This will be three of four, probably, because we are going back to Tokyo. I'll have a Tokyo vlog part two. But we're just going to freshen up and uh, just probably hang out in our room today. Grab some food at Lawson's because we are beat. We had a long day today. Yeah, welcome back to the vlog, guys. Okay, we're in our room and it's a traditional style, I guess, room where you, there's no beds. You kind of put them out. They're Japanese mats. So let me give you guys a quick tour. So you walk in here and I forgot what these are called, but there's a specific name for these mats. I forget. And then here's how the room looks. And then you have all your bedding here. And uh, yeah, I guess they're gonna make the bed for us. If you have any requests of bed making, please ask the front desk. Cool, it's traditional, but we got a little fridge. Safe, okay. Oh look, please use this yukata during your stay in Sakura. And then we have our bathroom over here. Oh, it's quite spacious in here. Good old Lawson's. All right. We are loving this hotel because now we feel like actual travelers versus like tourists, you know? It's kind of cool. I feel like we're with the locals mm -hmm. in this hotel versus like being where all the tourists are. And you know, we had to get good old Lawson's. We got a bunch of stuff, so let's eat together. I feel like I've been in these clothes for like over 24 hours now. I feel so gross, but. Ah. All right, here's our hotel right here. Sakura Orishite. Here's the entrance. Here's the front desk. Hello. And we're gonna go head over to the other side of the building. Ooh. And then you have a little bit more seating area here. So it's very cool because this hotel, you can really just utilize the whole building, so. Looks like a tea ceremony over here. <clears throat> All right. And we're in the bag. Donnie with all of our goods. <laughs> I'm starving. We got nuggets, we got pasta, we got. <laughs> 
I don't know. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Here. And then you gotta take your shoes off. All right. Let's get settled in and have a little grub. Grub it up, dub. All right. This over here, this Pokari sweat. This has been a lifesaver in getting your electrolytes and hydrated in this heat. It's kind of like Gatorade, basically. What do we got? So, Donnie got some ramen. <laughs> I got this carbonara right here. And then I also got some spicy nuggets. We didn't really have time to go venture out for dinner today, so. Convenience store it is, which is good because you save money. And you get a lot of food. All of this was $24? 24. 24. 24. And we bought like a lot of drinks, chips, food, sandwiches, cold food, so. Can I take my... Uh, my bag okay let's try this carbonara they're gonna come later to do our beds for us so hopefully we're, we can show you guys how that's done <laughs> all right let's go in for a taste test first time getting a carbonara at the convenience store Mmm, that's really good. The flavor and the texture of the noodles is actually really good. This is the uh, spicy nugget. We've been eating these, so simple, but let's wrap this around. Sorry, earlier I said we we're here for three nights. We're only here for two nights, so tonight Full day tomorrow, and then we check out. But our train isn't until later in the evening on the third day. Yeah, we have a full day tour tomorrow, but mom's pretty tired. So we're gonna see how much we can get through. Here's some ramen, let's give it a go. Mmm, that's good. So what would you call these beds? Is there a specific term? They're called futons. Oh, futon. Oh, futon. Yes. Okay. And these mats have a specific name, right? Tatami. Ah, yeah. Um, have you ever done judo before? No. You know what? I'll just make the bed first and then I'll send everything out. Okay. So I'll move that one if you don't mind. Oh, yes. Sure, sure. Let me take care of it. Um, Sorry. So usually the head is over there. But since your suitcase is over there, I'm going to make your head over here. Is that okay? That's fine. That's yes. fine. Okay. That way we know how to do it for tomorrow. So that's how you do it. It's actually not that difficult. Okay. So, the way that it works. So, first you're just going to like this. Then you slip in this side. Just like this. Okay. Okay. And then you go to the other side. This. Yes. Insane. Yeah. Insane. And she's been walking a lot. <laughs> yeah. In the heat. In the heat. Yeah. In Japan, that's what what I mean. Like, Japan and the U.S. is definitely not near. That is basically how the bridge is. Oh, oh awesome. Is. Okay. Yeah, we could do this one. We'll try it out. Yeah. So I'm going to take this one. Okay. Because this one is a bit funny. I'm going to leave you the bed sheet. Get the door okay. for you. All right, and we're back. We thought there was like a specific uh, traditional way you were supposed to make the bed. That's why we had them make it for us. But really, it's pretty straightforward. We are going to have a little bit of whiskey. This was like really cheap at the store. So we just grabbed it. Obviously, we wanted to try to get some Japanese whiskey, but I only had the big bottles of that and we weren't trying to go too crazy. <laughs> Just a little nightcap. Had a long day. Cheers. Come by. Cheers, everybody. These are corn snack barbecue flavor. Mm, pretty good. I'm just going to wrap up eating, shower, get ready for bed. Possibly have a nightcap with my brother and sister, if they're up for it. If they are, I'll take you guys. If they're not, I will see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. I'm wearing a traditional 
I don't know, I forgot what this is called. But I'm dropping this box off at my mom's. Let's see if we can pack it in her suitcase. Where is she? One. <laughs> yeah. We're in a Ryokin. So we'll try to pack this and oh. put clothes in it and see if it'll fit in your luggage. So yeah, basically we are staying in a Ryokin, which is like a Japanese style inn. You can use a lot of the common areas. Really cool experience. Very authentic feeling, especially coming from, you know, like Tokyo and Osaka hotels and you know, the area we stayed in Hotaka, uh oh, Osaka, kind of reminded me of like when you stay in Honolulu. A lot of shopping, touristy, still cool, but this is definitely a different experience. Okay, we're gonna get finished ready and then go on a tour today. So let's go. Ready for our last tour, mom? Okay, tired, but like Tired, but last tour, uh -huh. 80 and going strong. We're gonna do a little sightseeing tour of Kyoto, some of the main attractions. Yeah, her knee's feeling pretty bad, but hopefully we'll get through this one. Good morning. 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 Good <laughs> wow, <laughs> you look so young. Really? Yeah. Hi, hey, 820. <laughs> All right, guys, we're starting the tour. I'm uh, going to use the Pocket 3 because my camera's heavy. <laughs> it's like a vault. <laughs> Is that Narnia? <laughs> Not quite. I got it. I got it. The bamboo forest. Oh, wait, I should be going oh, that way. <laughs> this is for us. <laughs> this is for the bamboo. They, they so cool. Them. Look at that. That's insane. Watch those double chins. Beautiful. Okay. Good? Yeah. Enjoy it. All right, now we're in the heart of Kyoto, the main town, I believe super traditional buildings and architecture. I think we're gonna grab lunch. Welcome to Kyoto. Thank you so much. Let's go, let's try this. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> very, very good. Donnie. Oh, hi. <laughs> Another ice cream. Mmm. That's so good. Oh my god. That's really good. Good, huh? Oh my bad. Earlier I said this is the heart of Kyoto. I was mistaken. This is just a district of Kyoto. I think we're gonna go to the heart of Kyoto maybe later today or possibly tomorrow. Um, yeah. Korean. 
Konnichiwa. I think we're going to the uh, Columns Mall. What? I forget what Tory it's Gate. called. Tory Gates. I think mom has to go after this. Wow, look at that, mom. Beautiful. Let's go. So pretty. So beautiful. See, so you can see the characters going this way. I didn't realize that. It looks better that way, huh? Yeah. Basically, you can see all that right there. Those are characters and most of those are donations or they are donations and the minimum donation to have your message which are a lot of them are advertisements is a million yen also did i mention it? there is 200,000 of these and it takes about an hour to get up insane Okay, another Lawson's run. <laughs> another Lawson's mukbang. Convenience or mukbang. Honestly, it's just been really convenient. <laughs> convenience or to get convenience food because it's quick, it's easy, it's good, it's delicious, and it's very inexpensive. And also it's like after a long day of tours and like going and sightseeing, I feel like for us, especially in this heat, the last thing we want to do is like gather again get ready, go out to eat, and as a group of 10, 12 prior to this, because my niece was here with her boyfriend, it's just so hard to find like a restaurant to, to house us all, so this has been Clutch. All right, another crazy, fucking hot Japan day of touring. Hold on, I think you guys are a little bit off center. We are back home. Again, convenience store food. We got some ice here at the convenience store. We're heating up the water right now. Ooh. And uh, we're gonna have some big cup of noodles. We have some spicy nuggets again. And then, this is new. I got a ham, ham and cheese potato croquette, I think it is. Let's go for a bite real quick. Mmm. It's like there's a little sweetness to it. It's like a corn. But yeah, so far, Kyoto's our favorite. Definitely, like, especially where we're staying, less touristy. Obviously, some of the spots we hit up today are very touristy. And uh, me and Donnie were talking about it, like, at the end of the tour, we're like, you know, I prefer, like, a rural trip to Cambodia and eating with a family. And he was like, me too, huh? Like, I think that's our vibe. But because we're, we're with family, like, this is good too. Like, it's cool, it's fun. It's, like, sightseeing and all that. So, still having a really great time. Oh, yeah, we also got some sushi. Or this one looks more like kimbap. Kimbap, that's what I was thinking. Oh, it's a salad roll. Salad roll with tuna mayo and imitation crab. Want to try it now? Got a yeah. This is how it looks. For a bite. Mmm. So today we learned a little bit of history for Japanese culture, and we learned about emperors, shoguns, samurais. Basically, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. The caste system was emperors used to be on top, but somewhere along the ways, right, samurais and shoguns popped up, and so shoguns were on top. And shoguns are basically above samurais, right? Yeah. No? Think of it as a pyramid. Mm -hmm. The emperors were on top, and the next in line were the shoguns. And then one point in history, shoguns overruled the emperors, so they were the ones in power. Mm. But they didn't kill the emperors because all the people looked at emperors as gods. Yeah. So they weren't killed, but the shoguns still ruled. Mm. So shoguns were ruling, but couldn't kill the emperors because popular opinion and all that stuff, right? Like, they would be viewed as gods. Oh, they were viewed as gods. <laughs> no, don't cut that. You're going to be so corrected on me. Everyone's going to. That's fine. It's just a vlog. Anyways. That was really cool to see or to listen because one of the temples we saw 
was a temple made by a shogun to show the emperor, like, come visit, let's have a party, you're welcome here. So because he couldn't kill the emperor, he had to be like, show respect, something like that. I don't know. I'm drunk. Hmm? Don't come for me. I'm just trying to have fun. <laughs> They're going to come for you, boo boo. Man, there's like 2,000 people that watch this. I'll be okay. Ooh, this is good. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. This is really good. This might be my favorite. You want yours? There's some hot nuggets. I feel like this just came out of their oven or something because it's just crispy. Tomorrow, we basically have somewhat of a full day in Kyoto. I'm so. telling you this. Basically. So, Don says I can't say basically anymore. So basically, but basically, <laughs> so we have a full-ish day tomorrow, and I really want to go to the Starbucks in the heart of the Kyoto town village because they basically integrate it into the traditional sort of architecture there, so it like doesn't stand out as Starbucks. So I think that's cool. There's also a pagoda over there that I really want to see. And so we're thinking to hit it up early before the crowd so that we can uh, enjoy Kyoto without all the uh, tourists. So that's the plan. But before I let you guys go, let's have a little taste test of this big cup of noodles. I will say though, we were just talking about this earlier, that our favorite meal so far was a sushi place over in Tokyo in a station. I think it was Shin Shinjuku Station. They literally have all of these like little markets and stores and food and restaurants and this like underground sort of world, which is crazy. Like some of them have like straight up Chanel bougie stores down there and you're underground. But our favorite meal so far has been the standing sushi. Really affordable, just the fish that melts in your mouth and just tastes so fresh. I think that's our favorite meal. My second favorite meal is the one that Jen booked with the family. We cooked on these little hot stones and it was like a prefix meal. And then there's like a piece of meat with all these other sides. Oh. That was up there with the sushi. So those are my two favorites. And then my third favorite, I would say, is just convenience store. <laughs> For convenience, affordability, and just quick eats and bites. Mm. Also, I have to say my mom is a trooper. We are over here struggling with the heat and the walking and the subways, but basically caught up with us doing everything we've been doing and like that's crazy so mom good job i hope you enjoyed this trip because by the time you see this we'll be home already but good job i hope you enjoyed your 80th birthday trip to japan but we're not done yet we still have four days in tokyo so okay i will see you guys tomorrow we're, we're gonna hang out at kyoto over at starbucks the pagoda all that stuff and i'll uh, see what we can get into i still want to do some shopping i want to get a uh I want to get a cool kimono. I want to get some uh, pasolubong, which is basically souvenirs in Tagalog. So yeah. All right. Good night. Cheers. Bye. Hello, hello. Good morning from Kyoto. Day two. We're actually going to go. See, I say actually two. We're going to go to the Starbucks in town, the traditional Starbucks, and then check out the pagoda over there. Try to get some nice pictures and video and just kind of walk around town, see what's there. We check out at 12. Our mom's going to rest for about until 12, basically, or until 11. Then we have some beige. And then we have some kimonos here that we can wear. We're gonna do a little photo shoot down in the lobby and then check out. My mom also wants to check out the Louis Vuitton store here in Kyoto, so we're gonna do that as well. And then we're gonna head over to the train station to catch the bullet train back to Tokyo for another four days. So <laughs> we still have quite a bit of time here, but we do wanna get the most of Kyoto since we were only here for two nights. So I definitely wanna go see the town. Yeah. So far for me and Donnie, Kyoto has been our favorite just because it's a little less touristy, a lot more traditional architecture. You really get like the beauty of Japan, in my opinion, versus like the urban jungle of Tokyo and Osaka. So if you guys are interested in taking a trip to Japan, I highly recommend taking a stop to Tokyo just because it's so pretty and beautiful here. Kyoto. Kyoto. You said Tokyo. Sorry, I meant Kyoto because it's so beautiful, pretty, traditional, and yeah, highly recommend. But yeah, we're gonna head out now. Let's go.
Starbucks matcha. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Tastes just like the States. <laughs> no, it's actually a little, this one's a little better. I'm gonna try. The matcha tastes different here. I it's think. like a cleaner matcha, huh? It's like richer. It tastes powdery. Yeah, like, the one. like creamy. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Out of 10, what do you think? 10. Whoa! Oh, hesitation. 10. Let's see. Yes. Wow. Right, Max. 9.5. Whoa! <laughs> Out of 10, your matcha scone. Um, 8. 8? How about your drink out there? I rate it yummy. Yummy. Donnie rates it lactose? <laughs> <laughs> lactose intolerant. <laughs> Kyoto is so beautiful. Honestly, wish we stayed here a little longer, but we can always come back. Like, look how gorgeous this architecture is. Sort of everywhere you go, beautiful. There's things. Yeah. All right, so the moms are getting in their kimonos over there. So we're gonna take like a group picture. They offer this at the hotel. What are these called again? These aren't kimonos, but it's a different type of um, traditional garment that the hotel provides to rent, or you can walk around the hotel in these so you can feel comfortable. So it's kind of cool. Wow. It looks so good. Wow. Mom. Empress. Empress. <laughs> like this, Mom. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good. It's a good box. Ah, they're sorry. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. What uh, empress are you? Uh, which? Uh, 16th century. <laughs> 16th century. <laughs> 16th century. Are you a ghost? <laughs> Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. There you go. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Say Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Alright, kimono party done. Now we're on our way to Ichidan, which is their ramen. <laughs> we're doing ramen on 90 degree weather, but it's oh delicious. God. It is yummy. We got the family over there. We checked out of our Kyoto hotel, left our bags, then we're going to, after lunch, pick our bags up and get to the uh, Kyoto station to take the bullet train to back to Tokyo for another four days. So, And that's where we're spending her 80th birthday, her actual birthday. One more, right? Yeah. Extra green onion. Ichiran! They got to come out. Mom, mom, mom. So then. Just leave it there, I think. Thank you so much. Thank you I got extra green onions because you know me and onions, so I'm gonna add all that in there. Just wrapped up Ichiran. It was so good. Probably my favorite ramen to date. That was delicious. There's actually a Louis store literally like two blocks away. So we're gonna peep in there because my mom is still on the lookout for one more bag. We were supposed to go in Tokyo. So if she finds it here, then we're good. But figured we're here, so let's go. Whatever the birthday girl wants. You know what I mean? They're over there. This is so cool. I love this little strap right here. Oh, 
on you. Okay, we did some damage. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Just like that, we're back in Tokyo and this uh, room doesn't really deserve a room tour. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the Kyoto vlog. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And if you can, try to choose Happy Over Set today. And stay tuned for Tokyo vlog part two, which honestly, I don't know what we're going to get into. There's still a lot to explore in Tokyo, but it's going to be 97 degrees tomorrow, which is crazy. I know we want to hit up like Harajuku, maybe Ginza. We want to hit up Tokyo Tower. We have a reservation at Team Lab. We have, where else do we have to go? Am I missing any other area? There's probably other things we're missing, but we're gonna try to hit those up. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, buddy.